Hello, uh, this is kind of a guide to help players find meta coins in Anodyne 2. Uh, this won't be a review or a playthrough or anything like that, so uh, if you're looking to get into this game, this probably should not be your first impression of it. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in this game, uh, go look up a trailer, go look up some gameplay. Uh, do not start with this video. <laughs> So this is the Nexus. Uh, you'll come across this area uh, pretty much first thing after you gain access to the uh, Outer Lands, the sandy areas. Uh, so if you go straight up, past these broken portals, uh, you can actually keep going up. There's a save point, keep going up, and you get to this portal. Uh, so you might just stop here and, well, this is, must be like a secret that you unlock later. Well, it is, but you can keep going up. Just keep going up and there's this, this little slime guy here. Talk to him. Uh, you found 585, so that's my total at this moment. Kind of guessing that there's 600. I've heard people do, uh, talking on the Steam forums that there's possibly an achievement for getting 600 coins, but I don't know if that's true or not. If you find more uh, coins than me, <laughs> please let me know and uh, tell me where you found them because I'm kind of dying to know what happens when you uh, collect all of them. Uh, even though they tell you point blank that nothing happens, that there's no reward. But despite there possibly being no reward, uh, let's kind of dive into how to collect some of these more difficult to collect uh, meta coins. Let's go back to C note for starters. Uh, also, that NPC that I just showed you, uh, the little slime guy, he gives you, after you collect a certain amount of meta coins, he gives you an item in your inventory called a meta coin detector pro. If you click on it, it'll tell you if there's meta coins in this area or not, but it only works in 3D areas, does not work on 2D or nanoscale uh, areas. So if you collect all the coins that you can see in this area and you use that uh, uh, meta coin detector, it'll still tell you that there's more to collect here, even though you like explore every inch of this area. And that is because <laughs> you will be very angry when you find out uh, that there's actually coins hidden inside the models. Um, I can't really show you where exactly all of them are and I'm not going to even try to do that anyway because uh, I can't be bothered. But anyway, I can give you some tips on how to find some of these coins. Uh, so I won't ruin the whole hunt for you, but I will give you some tips to make it easier. Uh, so basically, you gotta clip through walls. Uh, and to do that pretty much only relies on the transform ability. Alrighty. So what I did that there is just pinch myself between this NPC and this wall, transformed while facing the NPC, and then it pushes me into the inside the model here of this building. I'm pretty sure there was some meta coins over here in this corner. Right over here. Uh, yeah, and to exit the building you just walk through the wall. Uh, at the end of this hall, like really high up off the ground, there were two meta coins just kind of floating back there. Like the tip I can give you is that your transform car actually has way better grip than your character model does. Meaning that, let's see if I can do this. Oh gosh, there we go. So if you drive into the wall at a diagonal, you can float and then transform and fall onto the coin and pick it up. Another really difficult place was like right here, I think it was. There are two coins hidden inside this wall here. Over here, where these two kids are at the uh, opening of this maze over here. 
drive into here and behind this dumpster uh, pin yourself in the corner along this fence here face the other dumpster transform and it pushes you behind the dumpster now you're inside the building uh, as you're exploring here kind of be careful you don't exit the the model like right there uh, make your way along the back wall. Let's see. Yeah, along the back wall. I think you're pretty safe walking back here. Uh, walk past the grums or worms. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, behind here. I think they're like right over here, these coins. They're like right here or something. Next, I'll, I'll show you like probably the weirdest place that you can access through uh, these kinds of tricks all right up top the uh c note village we have this area and if we look down we can actually see c note below us uh you can actually go down there and there's actually met meta coins hidden down there Oh yeah, if you notice, you can't just fall down there, because there's an invisible wall. You can't walk over here, because the uh, invisible wall keeps you from going over there. Um, what you're going to have to do is Skyrim wall climb. <laughs> if you played Skyrim, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but also remember that your car has super traction, so if you transform You can kind of keep your height Oh Okay, I didn't want to go this way because I thought I'd touch the uh, warp object, but uh I guess I don't need to worry about that. Alright, I think if we just scale these mountains this way, we can uh, go around the uh, invisible wall there. I think we're just about around it. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. We're definitely through it. Okay. So we've clipped through this mountain because apparently it has no colliding boxes. But I think these rocks do. We make our way towards the hole. Might be able to show you another Easter egg. Oh, you can see it. Yep. <laughs> Those two uh, NPCs over there are used in a cutscene and they're hidden behind the. Uh, scenery until they need them I guess can you stand on this nope can't stand on that okay so this is what is called phantom C note which is C note but it's a alternate version of it so this isn't the C note that we were just in just a few minutes ago. Uh, this is a copy specifically for the uh, above C note area up there. Uh, this is all just a duplicate of C note without all the NPCs uh, and without a lot of the objects and collision boxes. I think the main ones that you need to worry about are again hidden in this maze over here. Uh, there's another grouping of uh, meta coins exactly where you got them in the real C note. Uh, but there's a few extra back there that you need to uh, venture around and get. Now, an important note this area right here, you could walk through this wall and stand under this pillar. Right under here, I'm pretty sure, are some uh, meta coins for you to collect. And that's pretty easy to miss because you're like 
I will just walk around this solid wall. Nope, not solid. Not a wall. So if we go into this, this is where the worms are in the real C-note. Uh, back here we have these two see-through NPCs. Let's talk to this one. You know, I've been meaning to visit the Phantom C-Note for most of my life, ever since I've heard a rumor about it in the supermarket. Now imagine my surprise when I came all the way to the bottom of Phantom C-Note and found none other than my fellow Valand's tube friend, S.H. Easy Essays? Here. Sorry, I'm bad at reading names. But it makes a lot of sense. This is one of the strangest places in the new The Land, after all. So he's kind of clipped to the wall here. Hey, I'm your host, S.H. Isas. Welcome to episode A2 of Breaking Boundaries. In case you are new here, we take the camera basically anywhere we want and look at abandoned content in the world of the land. Today, we found a mysterious copy of an empty city at the bottom of the Blue Veil Center. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, so like right behind this character, inside this wall are some meta coins. Uh, I'll show you how to get them pretty easily. And it's a little different uh, from the other way because those dumpsters and fences aren't here anymore. It's all just empty hallways. If you go back here, this area back here is a little different. There's this crevice which isn't in the real C-note. Walk back as far as you can, face the void, transform, and you get pushed inside the wall. Um, so basically we want to do the same exact thing as we did in the real C-note. Walk behind these characters and collect our uh, meta coins right here. So anyway, that's Phantom C Note. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple other spots. So is this the field area? Yes, it is. All right. So in all of the outer sand areas, uh, you see these orange striped walls that kind of prevent you from exploring past those. Uh, uh, grassy areas, I guess. So here's where our Skyrim mountain climbing skills come in handy again. What we have to do is scale up these mountains, uh, hop over this orange wall. Uh, you know what? Let's try something else. Uh, the way I did it is I found some nook in these walls, I think it was probably right here, uh, where you can use that transform wall climbing technique that we did to find Phantom C note. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Whoop. <laughs> yep, <laughs> well, that was easy. So what you do there is you just drive off that rock onto the wall at an angle and move towards this goal until uh, you go over the invisible wall. You can tell that the, the invisible wall like, goes quite a bit over the fence. So out here, uh, pretty much in every single sand area, you're going to have to drive around. And on the other side of a lot of these dunes, you're going to find meta coins. So they're completely invisible uh, from the inbound areas. There's probably a couple back here or whatever. But anyway, that's that area. Out here, uh, this one's pretty easy. Uh, before I show you how to get out of bounds, I'm going to show you how to clip through another object. So over here we have this little house from these guys. What's it called? Oop. 
Loquat. <laughs> the house's name is Loquat for some reason. Uh, but inside Loquat is some meta coins. Uh, so I think the way that I got it is. Probably not this way, actually. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yep, now I'm inside low clot and I can collect all the coins. Uh, so when you're trying to clip inside objects, just know that the two objects uh, that you need to clip need to be two separate uh, 3D meshes. If they're both belonging to the same 3D mesh, I'm not sure that it'll work. Uh, but since Loquat is its own 3D model, and this rock is a different 3D model, uh, sh you should be able to get inside, no problem. Uh, so, for getting outside of bounds... You might have already guessed this just by normal gameplay. But you can just... Glide. Glide over the fence. There you go. And like the other sand areas, there's lots of uh, coins on the other side of these dunes and hidden behind mountains and such, so... Okay. Uh, so this area, there's probably multiple ways that you could, uh, get out of bounds, but I'll show you probably the easiest. You'll drive over here to this little alcove over where the other entrance to the Nexus is. So, in that little cave is that little aniba looking thing. That's another entrance to the Nexus. So we'll go up here. Alright, so this one gives you like one heck of a bounce. Uh, so I'm going to jump on here, do our little, oops, a little Skyrim dance here. Oof, okay. Okay, I'm gonna shimmy my way over here. Oops, okay. So here you can see the out of the bounds area. Oh yeah, you can just jump down here from here, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Why the heck is... I forget. <laughs> I forgot there was a meta info thingy over here. Let's take a look at what it says. I look who we have over here. Indeed, the out of bounds is as much an important space as the inbounds. You may enjoy seeing the world of the new Zealand from a different, strange, perhaps even 
profane angles when you travel out of bounds. Be careful. So yeah, uh, so basically, this is probably the most irritating out of bounds exploration uh, there is. So you're just gonna have to drive behind here. And hidden along the back side of this mountain cliff here is just a ton of meta coins. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more of the transforming wall climbing that I've been showing you. Uh, there's others on top of these dune crests. A bunch over there. There's just a bunch of them. Now it's not just the, the sand areas that you have to go out of bounds to uh, find all the coins. I'm pretty sure every single area on the entire map you need to get out of bounds somehow to uh, access all the coins. Okay, the outer sands. Uh, so jumping over the wall is pretty much the same song as dance as before, but before I do that I'll show you uh, the center spire here. Actually inside the spire is going to be some meta coins. Well, that was messy. But anyway, in terms of getting outside of bounds, uh, a good starting point is this dune right here. Just before the brown spot starts, kind of drive towards the sun a little bit. There we go. Cool. So you need to be like right before the brown spot starts and point it a little bit out of the sun. The reason why this is so particular is the wall that you climb on like that has to be at a little less than 90 degrees, I think. I think the next spot I'll show you, uh, which isn't really clipping through walls, it's just a spot that's kind of easy, or easy to miss, yeah. Uh, and it's in a 2D area. So we'll go to the Nexus. It's in the Pastel Horizon, I think it's called. We'll start here. So we'll need a raft. Okay, so we're gonna hug the uh, the west wall of this map. Oops, we want to go around all this nonsense. Go down over here. Oop, this is where you need to be. Uh, so we'll set our spawn here. Now, basically, what our goal is is to squeeze the raft in this one by one area. And over here, so we can get our, get our raft down there. And there we go. Uh, 
Uh, so basically just go down here. And it's in that chest right there. So it's not like super difficult. It's just like easy to miss because you kind of assume that your raft can't fit here. And if you try to get your raft in there, it's kind of fidgety and weird. Because if you tilt it up like that and try to go that way, it won't move. So the, the trick is to line it up with the hole over here, and then vacuum. Oh, a little too much. There we go. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. I'll show you one other thing. So this is the end game content. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't really have anything to do with the storyline. Uh, it's just kind of a reward for getting the best ending. Uh, I don't think that there's any meta coins hidden in here, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, so if you make your way past this expanse, Go in here. Uh, this place. <laughs> Already have broken out of bounds. Okay. So you kind of assume that you're supposed to stay on the wide area, but there's actually some holes in the walls here, as I've already shown. The main hole that you want to be looking at is right here. Here you can step out of bounds and I think access like all of the areas uh, outside of bounds of the post game area uh, but yeah it's mostly just blackness so I've not really explored everywhere back here there it's possible that there's something important hidden back here and I just haven't found it yet But yeah, that's a lot to explore. Uh, if you explore back there and find something cool, let me know. So yep, that's it. Uh, so also, just a reminder, if you happen to find all uh, 600 meta coins, please let me know. Uh, I can be reached through comments on this video. I can be reached on my Twitter, which is at Zanzendorf, Z-A-N-Z-I-N-D-O-R-F. Uh, if you figure it out, let me know. Uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Uh, if you find any other tricks, let me know. Also check out this game. If you're still watching this and this is your first impression of this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's actually a really cool game. I really like it. I really like the story. It's a little janky in places, but a little jank. Uh, sometimes endearing. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for the makers of this game making this game. Thank you for Epic for making it free for a weekend or whatever. Uh, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this developer in the future. Anyway, goodbye!